Hello everyone, welcome to this CUBE special presentation live event with IBM here in our Palo Alto studios. I'm your host, John Furrier, Dave Vellante. We've got a great lineup for the next few hours. The future ready storage that's redefining the data center boundaries here with Silicon Valley Angle and theCUBE with watch parties in Atlanta, London, and Istanbul. Dave, great to kick it off. We've got the next few hours, we're going to dig into what's going to be redefining the boundaries of the data center with storage. It's going to be a great lineup, um, great topic. John, I love these super studios and we bring in all the innovators and we talk about what's changing in the market. And you know, the big trend in storage is, I think anyway, we got to bring AI to the data, right? Right now, a lot of the logic and a lot of the protection lives in the application, you know? And you know, developers, you go to KubeCon and all these shows, developers, they have to figure out uh, now how to do security and all this other stuff, shift left, we always hear about that. I think things are changing where you're bringing the AI to the data. Now, the challenge is, you know, John, not to get too, uh, too, too market technical here, but the, the two year note hit almost 5% today, 4.987. Why does that matter? Because even though you have all this AI tailwind, the reality is, is IT budgets, they're not growing. And every time the two year goes up, IT budgets get tighter and tighter and tighter because CFOs are you know, concerned about discretionary spending. Why is that important? It's important because customers want infrastructure that is very efficient, that's low power, and it can take them through the future. So they, they don't want disruption. And for years, what they've done is they've had this box mindset, they install a box, they, they depreciate it over five years, then they rip it out, they bring a new one in, and it's a highly disruptive process. So what people want is that cloud-like operating model on-prem or in hybrid, or they want the ability to super cloud it, to connect across clouds. And the thing about today presentation is that underlying infrastructure is the real the action is. And if you look at the AI demand right now, the developer on the AI side is an all time high, but it's all about the data and the data has to run on the infrastructure. And so the infrastructure matters. What's under the hood is super important. And we look at storage and servers. This is where the action is. And this is going to be the pace car that's going to set the agenda for the industry and having the application logic and protecting the data all kind of managed and software defined is going to be critical. And of course, you know, ransomware, cyber attacks, this is all happening at the same time. So you got the, the nexus of innovation, the nexus of infrastructure expansion and evolution, and all in the backdrop of a massive security threats. So trying to run that in parallel is going to be the challenge of the industry. And, and this is what all the top companies like IBM are working on. This is going to be the topic for today. Future ready storage is key because that's where the data is. That's going to redefine what the future of the data center is going to look like. And ultimately the AI factories and the data centers, that's going to be the key. When you mentioned ransomware, the other big trend is, you know, data is everywhere. So data is physically distributed, but people want to be able to logically manage it. And the other thing is, look, if you can bring ransomware protection and detection to primary storage, <laughs> then, then that just gives you a one up, uh, you know, because everything's so compressed these days in terms of the, the adversary, they're so capable, they're in, they steal, they wreak havoc yeah. and they're out. And we, so we, to the extent that you can identify anomalies in real time or close to real time at the source of the data, that's a big win for customers. You know, for the 14 years we've been doing theCUBE, we've been in storage and watching storage evolve. It's the storage is the same game and it's always changing, but it's all about the data. And if you look at how that's managing with the cloud, for instance, that's a collection of storage devices still storing the data. Now that AI is here, it's the same game, Dave. You got to store things, you got to be fast, agile, and more importantly, you got to deliver SLAs sub, the latency is critical to get that data into the AI system. So you're going to see a massive um, script flip when it comes to storage. And that's why it's being redefined. It is a true evolution. And, and, and the developers are all waiting there, waiting for the performance. You know, what hasn't changed is people want storage to be rock solid, lightning fast, and dirt cheap. Now, those three things, how to get there has changed. You know, it used to be disk drives would break all the time. <laughs> now it's rock solid means you have to protect the data you have to protect against ransomware attacks. You know, lightning fast, if you're going to bring AI to the data, AI to the data, that's a different workload. And, you know, dirt cheap, okay, well, power is a huge issue now. And, and uh, as I was mentioning before, non-disruptive migrations can dramatically lower those hidden costs. And so the, the nature and the parameters of those three things have changed while those three things, you know, remain constant. Nobody wants to be caught behind. If you're too far out front, you become driftwood, you got to be on the wave. If you miss the wave, you, you could be out of business. And I think this is the focus of why the future ready uh, theme is, is relevant because everyone wants to be on the, on the wave right now because if they miss it, 
you know, it could be, it, the consequences are, are, could be really quantified as we're out of business potentially. So everyone's trying to do it in real time without disruption and that's where it's hard. Storage, servers, infrastructure is hard. You can't just get that done overnight. So managing that's going to be key and that's why I like the story from IBM. Yeah, I agree, John. And we're going to be covering this all day today. We've got, <laughs> we've got watch parties going on from all over the world. Explain what we can expect there. So we're going to have people physically located, kind of like storage, you physically distribute <laughs> yeah. the, the action and logically manage, as, as we say. We're going to have watch parties in Atlanta, London, and Istanbul. We've got folks out there, shout out to you, and, and other places. So we're broadcasting all of this. We've got people gathering. That's where the community is, the network effect of this community, Dave, so it should be really great. And we'll take calls from them, we'll take questions, and uh, feel free to tweet at us at theCUBE, and we'll, we'll take all your calls and, and have a great time. Yeah, excited to be here with you, John. Thanks for, for, for hosting, and uh, right. really look forward to the innovations that we're going to hear. Well, let's today. kick it off. We'll be right back with our next guest after this break. Thank you.